gonna go to the mountains where, where we're gonna be today. It's gonna be very open. Mm -hmm. So we've got no cover at all, okay. nothing. So what we'll do is we'll try and, and use the dead ground that we've got because it's hilly. So we'll try and use the dead ground and our shots will be about 200 yards. Okay, when, if we don't get a good shot, we'll, we'll try again and again, but we're not gonna take a shot if we're not coming. Okay. So what I think what we'll do is, Lorraine, when we get up there, mm -hmm. it depends on, 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 on the animals that we, we're gonna hunt black wildebeest. Uh -huh. And there's some springbuck there. And then there's, there's zebras. Okay. And then there's also mountain reedbuck. Okay. And there's blazebuck. That are the animals that live up on top of the mountain. So, but our main focus will be if we get up there for you to shoot a black wildebeest. So that, that's our main focus. As, as we stalk and we do, or as the opportunity occur, and there's a zebra to be taken, we'll let you shoot the zebra. It's big. <laughs> but remember, remember, <laughs> don't and shoot. It, and it has, has stripes. Yeah, so. don't shoot. Don't shoot the big zebra. <laughs> don't shoot the big zebra. Shoot the shoulder of the zebra. Remember, the shoulder. The, the anim African animals carry their their organs, their organs in between the shoulders, not okay. back. In between the shoulders. So, depending on how the zebra or the animal stands. I always say you try and aim at the opposite shoulder because if you shoot, if he's aim, if he's a little bit away from you, then you quarter it quarter in on the back to the opposite shoulder. If he's exactly straight, you can shoot him on the shoulder, not behind the shoulders, on the shoulders. Your your, your shot. My yeah. shot. Yeah. Not not like a on the shoulder. Front of the shoulder. Yeah.